Hey guys, it's Dion from Limostech and today we're on unboxing a new package. So before we unbox that package, though you already know what it is since you probably seen the title, I just want to say that finally our Demostech channel got monetized again. Woohoo! So now we'll soon be able to buy more cool stuff like that, even cooler. And stay tuned, subscribe and keep following the videos since I'm planning a very small, I would say, but still a giveaway. The first giveaway of Demostech, so stay tuned. Anyway, let's begin and unbox this package. So. This came all the way from China, pretty much the usual, and I really hope that it's what I think it is, because I didn't really check, but it should be. Yeah, I can already see that it is. So this is the Broadlink RM Pro Plus. So what does this do? Well, this, guys, will allow me to control both my air conditioner, my TV, and pretty much everything which has RF or IR signal. With that, I'll be able to control it from my phone, from Alexa if I'll ever own one, or from the Google Home Mini that I have there. So that will be pretty cool. Anyway, let's go and unbox it. Now, I never tried something like that. Uh, well, at least not that capable. And people say that this specific product is very, very good. So I really hope that they are correct. Let's see what we have in the box. We should have, as I ordered, an EU plug, since that's what I need. But if not, I got myself covered already. So we have a very small booklet. I already downloaded the app. I hope it will work. Um, the Broadlink device itself, which is a little bit hard to get. You see how small it is? It's tiny. It weighs almost nothing. And you can pretty much uh, hang it on the wall if you want. I hope that it will be uh, enough to just put it on the table close to the TV since that's where I want to put it. Anyway, it's shiny and it's a fingerprint magnet. Anyway, we have a device. Let's see what else comes in the box. So again, we have a USB cable which comes with a micro USB. Crap, I have a micro USB nowadays. And we have our EU plug. It is an EU plug. Now, uh, I don't know if it's something original or not, but you know, let me try to show you closely. Um, okay, it's very hard to read, but... Yeah, it's really hard to read where is the output. Okay, so the output is uh, 1000 milliampere, the usual, so basically one ampere, the usual, you know, the usual old chargers, so you can use any uh, plug that you have. And we have something else. Oh yeah, if you want to hang it on the wall, so you have that specific, you know, wall mount, I don't know how to call it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you get. Um, I guess we can try and do the initial setup right away, no? So let's see first what we have here. We have here a reset button, the power which is the micro USB, and we have, oh yeah, on the front we have a Wi-Fi uh, light, and I don't know what that light is, but yeah, we have it as well. So uh, let me pause the video, connect it, and then we can continue. Okay, so I just plugged it into the power and as you can see it started to blink um, I have no idea how to set it up or anything but let me bring my phone and we'll try to do that anyway it's still blinking okay so the app is called e-control and you have another app uh, that you can use as well but I don't know I never used it anyway for some reason it catches unknown SSID I guess because I'm on a 5g network and not 2.4 so let me try to switch to 2.4 and we'll see if that will be any better. Okay, so now I'm on 2.4. Let's go ahead and add a device, I think. I'm not really sure if it's called a device. Okay, it still sees that and not... Okay, let me try to, I don't know, press configure maybe. 
Now, basically, it should try and catch it automatically. I think the... Are you sure it would... Uh, it would ask me for Bluetooth if it would work with Bluetooth, right? It doesn't seem to ask me for anything. So, basically, I just press configure and... The process started now, I'm not really sure. Okay, now you can see pretty much. So, yeah, it's pretty much trying to find it. Though I'm not really sure that it can. Now, the device is still blinking, but I noticed that it's blinking slow now. So I think it's trying to connect, and since I have Mac filter in uh, protection, it will not be able to connect as usual. So we'll have to edit somehow. Maybe I do need to set manually my Wi-Fi connection on the phone or something, not really sure. Okay, so it failed again. You know what, let me try to... let's see, is there... Okay, so there's a serial number on it, but do we have anywhere its MAC address? Oh crap. Okay, I'll have to find its MAC address, add it to my router and then we'll continue. So, after some retries, basically it was my Mac filtering and you should write your Wi-Fi credentials manually. Anyway, uh, it finished scanning and then it showed me the remote. So we basically just click it. And I believe that we need to press uh, learn? I have no idea. Oh, so, you know what, let's keep that for now. Okay, so now our device is pretty much added. Now, sadly in this room, I have nothing to connect to. So let me bring my remote control of the air conditioner and we'll try that out. So, I did bring the remote control of the air conditioner. So the air conditioner is in the living room, so we'll press here, I believe. Press plus. And then I'm not really sure, choose an action to be added. No, probably. You know what, maybe we need to go here and add let's see our device list first of all yeah okay so this is it checking status okay so now we can add a remote so let's press air conditioner try learn um type any button from on off mode and temperature okay okay something is happening obtaining code from cloud okay so now it's obtaining probably all the details of the remote from the cloud. Let's hope that works. Okay, so it has got something. Um, and I'm not really sure it's user defined air conditioner. Um, so yeah, so you can pretty much configure that now. Let's let's try to what is heat? Oh, okay, so basically it will sort of do some guidelines that um, you want. I want to do something else. I want to try to add a remote, but an existing remote. I want to actually write the model of my air conditioner and hope that uh, I'll find a whole ready to use remote. So it's a tornado. Let's try to search for that. And we have tornado gold, tornado well, there are multiple things, so I'm not really sure which one. But we can probably try that. That is called Tornado AC, I think. Well, it's downloading. Oh, oh wow, whatever it is, it looks cool, and for some reason it's on Russian, which I don't really want. Okay, so let's let's try a different one. Let's again write tornado. And let's try tornado air con something. Oh, so that's pretty much useful enough, I think. You have your fan, you have your temperature on off. That's pretty much it. And you obviously can, I think, add other buttons. You have sort add, I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so yeah, you can, yeah, you can press, basically choose a new icon, I guess. Yeah, so, wow. Okay, actually, that's kind of cool. We can play around with it, but let me disconnect now and reconnect it 
closer to my TV and then we can try to check if it works. So it's been some time till I could actually finally control it. So let me try to show you something. So this is the app. Now there are two apps, the e-control and the i something, the other app, which actually is supposed to be controlled by Google uh, Home. This app does not work for some reason with Google Home, only the other app, which I cannot configure actually with a broadening device. I have no idea. Anyway, as you can see, I already set my top TV box, which is hot, the TV and the air conditioner. So let's go to the TV, for example. And as you can see right now, the TV is off and I'm going to actually press the on button. And in a moment, the TV is on. And that's pretty much how that works. So you have all the, let me try to focus on that. You have all your settings um, as you would expect. Uh, okay, so much flare. Anyway, let's turn off the TV and it's off. Now, regarding the air conditioner, it's pretty much the same. So you go to your air conditioner, but you have like themes that you can set, at least for my air conditioner. So I cannot just press on and it will go to the default mode because there is no default mode. You can actually set pre-configured presets, which you can trigger and you can call them by name. So I have, for example, cooling and I have cooling turbo. I set the heat, the auto sort of economy, and I can add more. Uh, basically adding you just need to learn from your remote control and that's it. So let me turn the camera to the air conditioner and I'll show you that I can control it. Okay, so for some reason it was pretty much difficult for the camera to actually focus on the air conditioner, but the manual focus probably did its job and the light went out. Anyway, uh, well basically I mean the light of the camera, the external light. Anyway, uh, it should be good enough as well. So this is our, okay, let's turn out of focus for a moment. So if I'll just press the on button, nothing will happen. And that's, okay, you can see that it beeped, but nothing happened. Now, uh, let me try to use one of the presets. So um, let the camera try to focus on that. And let's use the 23 cooling and I press on that, that's it. And the air conditioner is on. So that works pretty flawlessly. Now you can hear the air conditioner probably more than me, but I hope you can still hear me. And pretty much the same. If I want to turn it off, there's a button off here. That's it, the air conditioner is off. Now for that air conditioner, it will take a few seconds to actually turn off, but that's something else and the focus obviously lost but as you can see it's turning it off so that works pretty easily okay guys um let me try to show you um hope you can see this this is the google home app and as you can see i have a broadling device the air conditioner now for some reason i cannot set the broadling uh, and google home to actually control other devices for some reason it only finds the air conditioner and i have no idea why but from now on, I can do something like, let me try that just to show you the phone here and I'm not doing um, anything, you know what, let, okay, let, let me do it like this. Hey Google, turn off the air conditioner. And that's it, it's off. Hey Google, set the air conditioner to 24 degrees. You got it, setting the air conditioner to 24 degrees. Now for some reason it didn't do that and I think it's because the air conditioner is actually off. So let's try the other thing. Hey Google, turn on the air conditioner. And as you can see, the previous command of 24 degrees is actually on. So that's cool. Hey Google, set the air conditioner to 23 degrees. Okay, now it got it. So that's pretty much how it works. So, in that case, let's turn off everything and go home. Hey Google, turn off the air conditioner. Sure, turning off the air conditioner. And that's it. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.